that long day behind you. Good times lie ahead. With company worth keeping, that'll bash a smile on your head. Come on in, the doors open, you'll find just the finest folks here. Pull up a chair, grab a drink, and let our stories your ear. Cause we're the talk, talk, talk the tavern. Here you're always welcome. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. Promising beer and bed love. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. Music, medicine, then some. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. The song's over. Here we come. And everybody, welcome to the tavern. I'm Travis I. Sivart, and my advices tonight are a wonderful Savinelli pipe with uh, dark cherry tobacco, some coffee instead of bourbon tonight, and um, yeah, putting out a lot of audiobooks recently, so check that out at TravisSivart.com. What about you, Andrea? What are your vices? Oh, so I have lovely vices. I'm knitting. Mm -hmm. What are you knitting? And I have coffee because, huh? What are you knitting? Um, washcloths, because mm. that's my new thing. So I'm knitting, and I have coffee, and how about you, Ed? I'm drinking wine. No cheese tonight? No, I'm all out. He is cheeseless. Aww. What about... Somebody give that man some cheese. And looks like Maria has tea in chat for hers, mm -hmm. and we'll see what anybody else pops up. So, tonight's topic is, uh, <laughs> well, let's do an opening toast, too. Uh, first, um, here's to drinking and smoking. There we go. There we go. Okay. Tonight's topic in the tavern is uh, banning legal drugs. So, this was actually suggested by Maria. Oh, Tal Spices is iced coffee. <sighs> it's been, oh. JC downed an Oreo milkshake brain freeze. So Maria has pointed out that like energy drinks can be age restricted, but coffee isn't. Matter of fact, we almost push coffee on our younger people. Should we age restrict coffee and other caffeine drinks also? What about soda and stuff like that? Hmm. What do you guys think? Um, Let's start with energy drinks. Should those be age restricted? Yes. Why? Because I remember when like Red Bull came out. I remember that. And we used to have to card for it. Because it could damage you so much. You need to be I guess the age to be able to sue them. I don't know. But you <laughs> had to be 18. And then they to be took able it away. To buy them when they first came out. Did they age huh? restrict them again in the U.S.? Or I don't think energy drinks are age restricted. Are... I think you have to be 16. Do you? Like they're not going to sell it to some little kid or they're not supposed to. I don't know. Googling. Yeah. Are energy drinks age restricted? No. They can cause a lot of issues, though. No legal requirement for children under 16. But apparently, uh, in the UK, also 16. <laughs> so, uh, but when energy drinks first came out, they were, they were, they, they, they got better with all the chemicals and stuff in them. Um, but yeah, too much of them can really fuck up your. What is, is it? Your pancreas it screws up. What is it? It fucks with something. Your spleen. I think it's your liver. Is it your liver? Probably your liver. And so when they came out, like I was guilty of this too. Red Bull and vodka was <laughs> great, and it was this lovely glow color. Yeah, that that's very bad for you. Hey, can we tangent real quick? What's up with White Claw? Like it's all the rage right now. I don't drink this. Okay, it's basically flavored seltzer water with alcohol. So you know how everybody drinks their bubbly waters? It sounds it's horrible. Like that, just alcoholic. It sounds yeah. sounds horrible. Yeah. It's. I'd rather just have a shot of alcohol. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Tal. 
<laughs> yeah, you've tried it before because I had one to try, and you're like, no. Oh, okay, well, that's... I guess you blocked it out. About right. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, about White Claw, our friends in Australia is like, what's a White Claw? Our friends again are like, never had one. Isn't it just a cooler? And JC is like, because it doesn't taste like alcohol. So a few comments on the oh, first yeah, it thing. Doesn't. It tastes mm -hmm. good. It tastes like like seltzer water. It's really gross. That's I horrible. don't like bubbly water. Regarding energy drinks, Gary says they should be. They're dangerous. Tal says, nope. Let Darwinism sort them out. JC <laughs> says, I haven't seen coffee pushed or marketed to kids the way energy drinks are. And Maria says, I feel like both yes and no, because yes to protect children, because people can die by drinking too many, but no, like Dal said, Darwinism. Um, here's what I'll... But... Uh, yeah? Oh, go ahead. Um, JC, I want to respond to your thing. You haven't seen coffee marketed to children. Well, according to people... Cigarettes that are flavored are marketed to children, even though they're not. Or vaping with flavors is marketed mm. to children. So wouldn't flavored coffee fall into that same thing? Isn't that targeting our children because it has flavor? Doesn't the same logic apply? I, I do know parents that drop, that buy their kids those creamy flavored oh, coffee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With yeah, Starbucks. Yeah, mm -hmm. Starbucks. So, directly marketed? No. By the way, to, uh, JC, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's actually marketing it to children. But then again, I'm a parent that feels you decide what your child has. Once your child is an adult, they decide what they have. And so on and so forth. Um, <sighs> right. Maria says, I mean, the thing with coffee is it contains caffeine, like a bunch of pop slash sodas, which is clearly marketed for kids. So should we be limiting Mountain Dew? Ooh. We should. We don't. Because that's on the parent or whoever is responsible for the child. Hal says, here in Australia, a lot of kids drink iced coffee. My kids aren't allowed caffeine at all. No Coke, no coffee, certainly no Monster or Red Bull. And JC, most of those fa fancy coffee drinks are mostly sugar. Not much caffeine in my experience. And yes, soda is an issue. So if, and, and so we took everything except for menthol cigarettes off the market in the U.S. They've all been banned. Not allowed to have flavored cigarettes anymore. Um, and now they're looking at cigars, possibly pipe tobacco, etc. So, I don't think the kids are smoking the cigars. I hmm. think they're using it for their pot. Right. But in the U.S., we've <laughs> largely legalized marijuana or marijuana products. But we're going to now take away... Cigarettes. No, cigarettes mm -hmm. are a huge killer. You know, I'm not denying that. But, uh, yeah. We're... So... Ugh. Control. JC says kids don't smoke cigars. It's ridiculous. Um. So, yeah, if we're looking at banning legal drugs and we take away the flavored cigarettes... And I guess vaping has to go away. How long till you think alcohol gets hit? Mm. It'll be like prohibition all over again. Well, well, some of those things have already started. I mean, I know how much you hate NASCAR, Travis, but it used to be sponsored by Winston, mm -hmm. the cigarette manufacturer. Guess what? Can't sponsor them no more. Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, Winston Cup be the name of it now. It's I don't know, Heiser, whoever, FedEx whatever. Cup, <laughs> FedEx or whatever the hell you know. It's it's something very very un-American, you know. Um, uh, they had to take firearms off of the side 
of vehicles, sponsorship. No more Winchester. Hard alcohol off of the sides of vehicles. They can still, beer can still sponsor them, but not hard alcohol. Hmm. I must ask you a question. Nope. Shave it for later. So I've had a handlebar must or a handlebar mustache for more than 10 years at this point in time. And it is one feature that has drawn people of all walks of life, young and old, every race, religion, and background will come up to me and comment on it in a good way, in a great way. This mustache has allowed me to meet more people than any other single feature I have. It's been an incredible thing. And since I started doing it, when I tested a dozen different mustache waxes, I chose Firehouse Mustache Wax as the one for me. They have different thicknesses, different colors, and the one I love is tacky because it's a lot easier for me to use to rub into my mustache, etc. And if you ever need tips on this, I'm here for you guys. But Firehouse Mustache Wax is also got a code up there of Travis15. That's Travis15 for you to get 15% off your mustache wax order. And they do have other things too. Go check them out. And you can find them at firehousemustachewax.com. That's firehouse mustache, M-O-U-S-T-A-C-H-E wax.com. Firehousemustachewax.com. Grab your own mustache wax, style it up, and uh, start making those connections you never knew were even possible. And happy waxing. Hmm. Weird. Interesting. Going to read a few comments here. If, Andrew, you got anything before I do? No. Maria says, I feel like personally, I see a link between kids being addicted to soda slash pop coffee, anything to hype them up to obesity and other health complications. They drink these beverages to stay awake or for the little upper for them instead of physically doing something to get the same effect. Tal says pot hasn't been legalized in Australia and they're thinking of putting cigarettes on prescription only, which is probably not going to happen because the tobacco industry is obviously huge. And then as a side note, Tal says I started smoking on cigars at 16. I didn't know you smoked cigars, Tal. Andrew? Prescription for cigarettes? Like they used to do in the 50s? <laughs> they used to prescribe cocaine, too. Yeah. They used to. Well, maybe we'll take away all the cigarettes and cigars and stuff, and we can legalize cocaine again. Yeah, maybe. With a prescription. Yeah. <laughs> Probably without. Oh, there you go. So, um, where do we go now? Where do we go with this whole topic? We can end it after no idea. 12 what minutes here. Banning legal drugs. What was the topic? See, actually, I, I'm more concerned with soda than I am with alcohol. Yes. Because it's become more popular to drink than water. Yeah. And there's so many chemicals in it now. It's not made with sugar and a little bit of chemicals. It's pure chemical stuff. Mm-hmm. And even the good. diet sodas are like, oh, no sugar in that. Yeah, but those chemicals. But that's bad. <clears throat> yeah, terrible crap in diet soda. You know what I've learned so, recently? Go ahead, Andrea. If you drink all the chemical stuff and, and not the sugar, your body doesn't respond too well it's better to have the sugar than the diet stuff mm -hmm. because it messes up your insulin yeah here's a fun fact with diet yeah. sodas because i switched to diet sodas a long time ago and recently doing some more research as i'm trying you know i'm getting older i want to make sure i'm healthier researching diet sodas first of all the artificial sweeteners make your body react the same way as sugar so it's storing stuff, it's doing bad stuff there, but also they have linked those chemicals, those artificial sweeteners, 
to depression and anxiety. And I'm like, wow, okay, hmm. interesting. So you're already kind of upset. I'm trying to lose weight, trying to move to the diet stuff. And now this stuff is going to, over long-term use, increase anxiety, depression, etc. So, uh, yeah. Gar and then the doctor will prescribe another chemical. Here's a pill. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so let's see here. <clears throat> Gary says, I know this sounds cliche, but Mountain Dew is rotting the teeth out of the mouths of hillbilly kids for real. And Gary also clarifies hillbilly blood here. Um, <laughs> Tal says, uh, Tylenol, in other words, acetaminophen, that's being regulated here now. You can only buy 16 tablets at a time. Used to be 24, wow. and before that, you could buy as many as you want. Um, and that's because that shit will fuck up your liver. Yes, Andrea? Yeah, I was going to say, Tylenol, they're learning a lot of things um, that that's messing up more than helping with a lot of people. So, yeah, I see that. They're not regulating it here. Yet. Yet. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Maria says, I buy them in the 400 bottle, and so do I. Um, here's what I'm going to say about any of this stuff. Ooh, Maria, you can buy them in a 400 count bottle. It's if you're taking all 400 that's causing the problem in a short period of time. Everything in moderation. This stuff is not meant to be taken three times a day, four tablets at a time, every day of your life. So, yeah, the same thing with caffeine. Caffeine can have positive effects. Until you're going through a six-pack or a 12-pack or a two-liter a day or something like that. Or... How many cups of coffee do we have today, Andrea? That many. I have had two. This is my second one. And what? Do, how much caffeine do we take in? If you're not drinking water or juice, most things you drink have caffeine in it nowadays, unless you specifically go for caffeine-free. So. That's what I do. See, Maria points out positive effect of coffee. I don't kill those in my household. Exactly. It's a good thing. Well, then again, if you met some of the people I know, maybe cut back on the caffeine till they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Dal says, I, 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 go ahead, Ed. I remember about 20 years ago, I started the Atkins diet. So I quit carbs, caffeine, and smoke all at the same time. Mm. Oh, I was a week into it, and my wife bought me a carton of cigarettes. She was afraid people were going to die. Hmm. Wow. Tal says, I had six shots of coffee yesterday in a short time frame. I don't do that often anymore. Sure to get a buzz, and then a hardcore crash. That's another thing about sugar highs. Yeah. Would you like butter on that, sir? Um. Yeah, I, it's people taking in too much of any one thing is going to cause a negative effect. If people smoke cigarettes the way people smoke cigars, you know, maybe one or two a day, as they did back in the fifties. It'd be a total different thing. But you do build up a tolerance and an addiction. And apparently the addiction is more to the chemicals than the actual tobacco and nicotine. Yeah, because they add so much to it. Mm -hmm. So, what should we ban? <laughs> Stupidity. Stupid people. See? See? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a consensus. Emojis. Hmm? Emojis. <laughs> that's another episode. Um, and JC says, my blood pressure specialist says I need to start measuring out my instant coffee instead of eyeballing it. You just put a spoonful in your mouth and crunch and, you know, shoot it back with a thing of water. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. See, I kind of like Maria's idea. We could unban everything and let it sort itself out for a few years. Thank you. I'm I'm up for that. Yeah, we'd have a real spike in death and trauma and hospitalization, but I am willing to bet people might learn, and the ones that don't probably wouldn't be a problem for long. Right. Remove the yeah, warning labels. Mm-hmm. Here's what I'll say about warning labels. For things like do not put your toaster in the tub, yeah, we can remove that warning label. But when I get a prescription drug, I want that page of information so I know what it's doing to me and what it's going to react with. <laughs> because I've watched those commercials on TV where they're like, take fuck it all. <laughs> No. <laughs> May cause anal leakage and death. What? <laughs> two things I'm always trying to avoid. Anal leakage and death. <laughs> this antidepressant may cause suicidal feelings. What? I, I, I never understood that. It's an antidepressant, but I'm going to kill myself if I take it. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, so... Mm. Things like, you know, do not eat your shampoo. We could take that label off. You know, cleaning chemicals. Yeah, don't ingest them. Don't eat Tide Pods. (laughs) (laughs) So, you know, um, Tal says, why do we need an effing label? Don't use hair dryer and shower. Like, who's trying to dry their hair while showering? There's only one reason you take a hair dryer or toaster into the shower. To save time, right? Mm. Maybe we need to ban electricity. No. And water, if you boil it, can injure you. So we should ban water. <laughs> um, if you drink too much water, it'll in- injure you. Yeah, Maria mentioned that. Yeah, so mm-hmm. you know, not just from drowning, but you can actually oversaturate your cells, and they will explode. Yep. <laughs> Maria says, but not indoor plumbing. We're not banning that. No, it's okay to use it for other stuff. Just don't ingest it. Speaking of which, yeah. Do you love sci-fi and fantasy? Check out TravisSivart.com for some incredible books with fast pace and exciting characters. New neighbors. It's it's a pain in the ass. I can't piss off my deck no more. What about at night? Well, you know. I I have to shut off those automatic lights that I have on the side. That's a spotlight. It's a show Just now. Charge for that show. That's right. That's right. Yeah. If you charge for it, it's no longer offensive. It's art. <laughs> ah. See? Okay. I have to remember that. That's right. Just <laughs> make sure you insert a tip jar. <laughs> Just the tip. Just the tip. Start doing piss tricks, says Tal. Maria <laughs> says, maybe they're waiting for you to do it, Ed. Eyebrow wiggle. Could be. Yeah. There's no snow. No. Maria says it's winter. Write your name in the snow. There's no snow here. We had very, very. Have you had any snow there, Ed? Just. But don't, okay. don't uh, let the weather know. No, no, no. It's, yeah, it's just for people who don't know, Ed lives about three hours north of us. And we've had like flakes in the air once, maybe twice. That was it. Yeah, we had an ice storm earlier, and that that's it. That was pretty much gone in three or four hours. So, but if we're banning water, that'll mean no more snow. Right? <laughs> I can imagine Congress passing that. And too, no more gas stoves. Oh, can we talk about that real quick? Sure, we can talk about anything. It's our show. By the way, apparently, like Chinese restaurants and Asian people who cook over a gas stove with their woks, a lot of the stir-fry stuff, they're pissed that gas stoves are being banned. 
And I'm like, why are they being banned? Ed. Uh, something about the toxic fumes that they let off in your home is very damaging. So as opposed to having well-ventilated homes. After yeah. How many, what, a hundred years of having gas stoves probably? No. Probably yeah. 150 because it was the mid to late 1800s where we started doing that. Yeah, piping gas cities. Stupid. <laughs> Gary says, "Liars, come get my oven. I dare you." <laughs> Maria says, "From what I understand, gas stoves give off a more balanced heat for cooking." Here's what I'll tell you, Maria: If your gas stove isn't, you could take a toothbrush and scrub the little fucking holes so it does. If your mm -hmm. flat top range or your electric range does it you've got to replace things so uh there we go uh thank you maria british inventor james sharp patented the gas stove in 1826 by the 1920s gas stoves were used in most domestic kitchens so yeah it's i just know in the late 1800s they had gas lights in houses and on the street so no doubt they had gas stoves. So that's bullshit. For like living out in this area. If you have a gas stove, you can survive. Because when our power goes out. Right. We don't have water. We don't have heat. We don't have shit. But if you have a gas stove, you can still have heat. You can still cook. You can still. It, that's you can bullshit. still survive. So yeah. maybe that's what it is. They but you will have a headache from the gas. <laughs> so I really think this balances out. Other things. <laughs> um, well, you can't take Tylenol for that headache. That's true. That's true. It's uh, JC says, I think my husband loves his gas stove more than pizza. Maria says, that's bullshit here too. We didn't have power for a week. My cousin was able to cook because he has a gas stove. Open mm -hmm. a fucking window. It's not that hard. Thank you. Well, also, there's a little fan over the stove that you could turn on. But I think they're more worried about, you know, like your pilot light goes out and now you get fumes in the house. So. But gas stoves these days, though, if your pilot light goes out, they're made to shut down the gas to the stove. Are they really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Been a while since I've had a gas stove, so um Gary says they want you to be pen dependent on their tech. Same thing with battery powered garbage like cars and e bikes. We could talk <laughs> about that too. Yes, internal combustion engines, huge polluters, but we're, what do you do with a pack of batteries in a car the size of a couch cushion when it's no longer usable? Where are they going? Right. Right. Actually, let's save that because I have that on a list for a topic later. Okay. <laughs> Gary says they can stuff off. You can swear in the tavern. JC says our new gas stove does not work without electricity because there's no pilot light. Interesting. But can you just turn it on and then hit it with a lighter to light it? Yeah. Maybe they have to plug it in. You got to plug in your gas stove. See, that's stupid. You know what? I can't. I just I remember. Know, I have a fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> you can use a lighter, says Bob. Oh, oh JC says that you have to take it apart to do it. Mm. Right. Says pilot light is pretty easy, cheap to repair. Unlike when you're trying to wire it for an electric one or when a burner goes. Here's what I know. The old coil burners on top of stove, you just pull that out and get a new one and put it in. But with the new flat okay. top ranges, it goes out. You're replacing that whole top from what I understand. Oh, yeah. It's cheaper to buy a new one. Which then that whole thing, how do you dispose? Yeah, it's a whole... It's bullshit. Okay. Let's wrap this up. Um, 
Look, society advances. Hopefully we get smarter, have less danger, but sometimes danger helps us survive and get smarter. And taking all the danger away allows the stupid people to populate more. To reproduce more stupid people. Yeah. And sometimes stupid isn't a matter of low intelligence. Matter of fact, it's rarely a fact of low intelligence. It's laziness and ignorance and sheep mentality. So, um, yeah, let's... Ugh. I don't know. Personal responsibility? Can we go beat that drum? Just don't beat the dead horse. <laughs> what are we supposed to say instead of a dead horse? I don't know. Let's Did I close it. So, okay. I'm going to roll the music. Any closing thoughts for you guys? Nope. Okay. Nothing for me. See you too, Bob. Later, man. Make sure you guys check out the other episodes of the Tavern here. If you ever want to join us live, you can do that on twitch.tv slash Travis Tavern Society. And check out my books at travissivart.com. Support a small business, independent author. And the music's almost done. Here we go. Buy some merch. <laughs>